All right. So Navi, they kind of do like to run some sort of very interesting war shenanigans, but looks like they're not going to be gunning this right now. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, they could hear the casters. Thanks. <laughs> That's, uh... I mean, the bow teams kind of hear it. It's... I guess it's... It's fair, but it's not great. 30 uh, seconds to battle. So. On the side of Na'Vi. In the offlane. It's gonna be... The Phonic Bedrider. Spotted up by FNG on a Skyrath mate. Very interesting that we're not going to be seeing the Vanscore. The Vanscore is because, well, he's uh, playing the Rubik this time around. Then he's going to be on the mid puck. And, well, it's Revost on the one position Wraith King. The sporting the carpet. Oh, huge win. Gets the bounty rune. 50 experience. That's actually a big deal. It actually is because if the Void gets it, there's this potential of a, of a solo kill onto Revost Wraith King. Before he's level 6. Mm. Anyways. Speaking of solo. Well. Mr. 3 to 2 himself. He's on the faces void. Now just rushing to the top lane it looks like. Don't want, doesn't want to have anything to do with this in the bottom lane. Interesting. Resolution on his DP. And it's going to be always one to fly on his Venture Spirit. Great hero right now. So Naker the stand and standing in for Mag. On the Disruptor. And of course Silent. He's on uh, the Razor. And well... It is crazy, but we actually got a game. We we actually got a game. It is absolutely ridiculous. So, my my Saturday is now finally being well, once again put together. You know, it was very bad. I was very sad. But now it's slowly but steadily climbing upwards. One minute in, no first blood yet, so I please want to see some very action packed games. Good thing is we got a dandy fox. This usually means very much crazy mid game aggression. A very much mid-game aggression. I'm not sure if this is really what you're looking forward to see in this sort of matter. I don't think so. Because late game is all. Like, the, the end all is all. But just, I mean, just in the last series from VP Polar up against Hell Razors, that was a very interesting uh, dynamic where uh, the Razor eggs was just so, so much. And the Crimson Guard on the Razor as well. And, well, it was just VP pushing down towers quite quickly. And I also am not sure how much of a... Of a delay we have currently. Um, Harris vs. Navi was played very early in the morning. And as such, well, that was kind of one series we are behind, and we are another series behind. So, we fought against Harris should also have been played out uh, yesterday. And as such, we're gonna have three more series today. Three more series today. Think about this for a second. It's, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely crazy. Also, let me know if the stream is, is looking good, because I'm using a very interesting scale. 25% downscale. Uh, with 48 FPS, should be looking pretty good, but I'm not sure. Just let me know in chat. I'm, I'm gonna be monitoring this. <laughs> and of course, we have no stream today, because it's Alan. It's amazing. So I can do polls. It's pretty much real time. Hitbox shit is so quick. I mean, hitbox data is so ridiculous. It's, it's just so much fun. Anyways. Plus advice, Navi having a really good time. Really, really, really good time. And it's interesting that Dendy's Puck is just crushing the DP so far. I imagine this is not going to be happening any any longer, but... Well... I mean, I, I guess is, I guess it is. Um, for any sorts of questions, we can do this after, after the game. Right? So... Which, which streaming software I use, because it's... Well, it's OBS, but there's more behind it. Anyways. Um, also, just give me a second to talk about the warding here. This is the vision which is coming up from Na'Vi. They keep tabs on any sort of super rotations from Always on the Fly, especially. They have no idea that Solo is trying to jungle. But this is a void jungling, so it's not that great. And now they know someone is up there, and yeah, they just ping him out. It's like, someone's gotta be there. Let's fall back, let's not go for this. So this is a smoking wasted. Excellent positioning from Soneko and stopping the smoke egg in his tracks really just nicely done there. So still this means the funny bad can farm 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 all day every day pretty much. You wanna be kinda level three, but he also does it with a level three already and you just you just need a bit more stacks then and oh it's gonna be close. Well he hit just like a truck. 
Nine six. Ay, 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 ay. Ouch. Oh, two more, Funic. There we go. One more. And there's skeletons as well, of course, because they were blocking the camp. As such, you kind of need to kill them. So. Well, four minutes in. Not much happening. Like we, like, well, I don't want to say we, but everyone is expecting to have the bad farm up a 10 minute blink. Maybe even faster, maybe not. Depends, depends. And, uh, well. Let's see. Let's see. So I'm I'm still not sure who I favor in that ASC just because this this change on the gold and experience is just so large. But I feel like, uh oh, that's a sentry. That's a good one. Oh, Dandy might be the first blood. He tries to shift away and, well, couldn't jaunt to it. Couldn't jaunt to it. That's damn close. And as such, the first blood was built. Resolution picks it up. And after kind of losing the lane, he's now back on track. Amazing rotations. And Disruptor is excellent against this sort of shenanigans. So, one for zero lead for Empire. Um, net worth wise, it's it's looking better. It's looking better because of the first blood. Now suddenly DP is actually ridiculously farmed. I uh, got some bar, got some face boots going away. There was a Midas just being picked up. Where is it? It is by Rose. Wow, it's a five minute Midas. That was damn quick. And already the first use um, is done, so this guy's just getting so, so much. And let's see if the race actually picks up um, a mech, because he's got a ring of regeneration. Could also be hooked, could... I would love to see a Radiant Crimson Guard on the Razor. I think Crimson Guard is the next big thing, because it is absolutely amazing in those team fights. Like, you pop a Crimson Guard, you're seven seconds of just complete rampage. And it's AoE. Think about this for a second. Oh, please no. Oh, please no. Got another pause here. Reconnection is alright. Looking good. Hopefully we're going to be resuming in just a second. Seems like we're in your butt. Hmm? <laughs> Okay, looking good. Uh, looks like everyone's doing fine. So, a brace is being picked up now by Sana. Uh, so far, it looks like casual. Oh, never mind. Someone died. There we go. So, we're getting kind of caught out now. Ancient Seer, pretty good spell. And the call as well. Oh, we can, we can see exactly what happens. Well, looks like just anything's happening. Okay, great. So, it's now one for one. Six minutes in. Even game. Even game. Of course, early game doesn't mean that much anymore. Like, it really doesn't. It is kind of similar like the rubber banding from Mario Kart, from... Hell, even even some Portal 2 custom community co-op map had this sort of stuff. It was a race, you gotta be quick. And if you're behind, you have better ways. It's ridiculous. Everyone kind of uses it. It's fine for casual games, but I'm not sure if I like it in Dota. Anyways, not so important right now, and... Well, it's still Funic, just farming, farming, farming. He's gonna have a lasso very soon, though, so... This might be where he's kicking into some high gear. Mm -hmm. uh, Denny doesn't have too much mana, though. Can't really do that much. Radiance top tower is okay, under sweet. attack. Anyways, there's a push happening. Now Silent is in the top lane. He couldn't steal any sort of damage from the static thing. This is always amazing. If you find a pickup with a razor just beforehand, uh, you can just go Radiant absolute bonkers on the towers. Fortified. Just slip away the damage and just right dick away. Radiance but this way around, well, also attack. the Fate Bolt coming out, of course. Very nasty. And Vensko, well, this is the beauty of the Fate Bolt, right? You just prevent so much damage being Dyer's done there. 4% jump reduction under doesn't attack. matter too much. Hero damage reduction of 20, creep damage reduction of 10. So, if you're just looking at those creeps, 23 damage, you take 10 away, you're still in very good shape. Mm, a bit of dewarding going on as well, so it looks like no one is just... No one is just uh, trying too much, except for Resolution, he's now up in, in a very peculiar position. He goes down, Funic finds the opening, and well, this should be his bling very soon, and... Yeah, definitely. Awesome stuff. Fight recap is... 
Ah, not too good. I mean, for some sort of early skirmishes, who cares? Okay. Okay. So last advice, interesting enough, even though Sanan actually picks up the, uh, well, does a, quite a bit of pressure Radiant's on this 2-1. One. He's still number one in net worth. Well, number one in CS. Mm, man, so be careful. Sanan was like, uh, no way there. There's gonna be someone there. Doesn't want to dive too far. There could be some TPs coming in. Actually, let's check some TPs. There is only Dendi having some right now, so... Wow. You could just go and kill stuff. Ah, I'm sad because I was waiting for hours. Oh, the Chrono actually onto Dendi. Oh, Water Chrono perfectly done. And now the damage. Oh, yeah. No, you gotta finish him off. He deploys his ultimate, goes for the silence. Not just enough. Oh, and there might be more solo. Oh, he actually breaks the call. It's uh, still a level one call. And now Phonic is getting turned around. Oh, no, you can't die right now. He doesn't have the death link dagger. And Dirobos also trying to rack down Soneko. But there is a glimpse then. Soneko is just keeping away. And there is nothing. Oh, there's the stun from the Telekinesis. Wonderfully done by Vanscore. Soneko, another stun. Dirobos picks him up. And, well, it's two for one. Then he dies. But you pick up two supports. And that is pretty much worth it, I want to say. Because there were also, also some pretty big ultimates coming out. Uh, well, Chrono, and I have the Storm. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about. Hold on for a second. Does the stream have delay? Shouldn't be. Let me see, preview. Double damage. What's the in-game time? What is it? Well... Ah, oh, there it is. All right. So the stream is, is not really delayed. Anyway, it's one online solo. Oh, should be leaping away. Are oh, the crits? The boss actually crits like a truck. Does he have a DD or something? Yeah, he's got a DD. I was like, no way he crits so hard. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Bleak deck up onto Phonic. And this is where this guy's going to be coming along big time. So he usually plays... Uh, well, not safe, I want to say. He's always trying to eye for any sorts of opening, but as soon as he finds the blink, this is going to be such a big force, and it's good that Empire is actually trying to take down objectives before him. Because right now, now, if you want to push into Navi, and there is going to be the final blink up, you're always going to be having this massive risk of just dying, of just getting dragged back, and well, and you're going to be dead. Resolution doesn't have any sorts of escape, so does the DP before the Yules, and Yules is, of course, still going to be quite a bit off, and oh, never mind. There we go. Blink dagger is in action, and. First pick off already happening, Navi showing. My blink digger still is a pretty damn good item. Good nerf, doesn't matter. Meanwhile, for most. It's got an ultimate though. And there's there's massive rotations coming in. Alright. Let's see if they can make it work solo now. Getting slowed up, and there's the lift. No stun yet. Oh, what a dream collection onto two, and now always on the fly. Oh, solo run, solo's quick. But here comes the Nako, and one more right click is all I need, and it's indeed gonna be a big pick in this one up. Okay, and also, pretty big steal. Radiant pretty damn big steal. Rubik actually got a le one level up in the magic missile, and... You have the mana to pull to support it, unlike the bench, actually. Just spam it out. You, you can do whatever. You can just go roam. You have double sun stuff ready to go. This is one of the best spells you can steal. Similar to a Sand King Burst Strike is also absolutely amazing. Oh, funny, the away there. Mm, and just because then you just found a pick off, now this means there is even more and just rush the force up down and go big. So item wise, resolution building on his yules. It's actually coming up in like a 900 gold, so this is good. Only Son of Fly is pretty damn poor. Uh Soneko, well, kinda of same story, but he's trying. He's trying hard. Solo is also damn poor. Interesting, 25 CS only, 1-1. One, one. Uh, and then there's Razor, he's like swimming in gold. He is number two in it on his own team, but pretty much on par with the DP. The only one who's got high net worth and those two fellas is gonna be Robos. And that is Gary. It really is. And he's just walking to a lane and pushing people back just because, just because he's a freaking king. Well, the only king that matters. So, Dandy, where is he? Gotta, gotta go blink, gotta go quick. Ah, not quite. Well, Robos, ooh, that's a hit. 
that's a good one, but there is the Vayner already activated and the damage coming out. Corvus is still alive, doesn't have his ultimate though, so there's gotta be no time box, no just yet. And oh, the Dream Collision by Dendi, that's a good one. And the and the great ultimate by Solo now trying to bring down Dendi, but Solo has to run. He doesn't want to go in this and he has to leap away. Now Dendi is very close. Oh, Corvus wants to go in once again. Blade Man activated and uh, I'm not sure if he really wants to go in there. Yeah, he's hesitating quite a bit. Crypt Solo stolen. Only Dandy dying, that's a great team fight. Well, not really a team fight, but it's it's a nice skirmish for Empire. That's uh, alright. Could be worse. Attack. And as such, well, it's Empire just making their way back. Navi didn't lose an objective. They still have the tier one bottom, they still have the tier one mid. Uh tier one two top is also looking pretty damn healthy, so it's not like it's it's a bad thing. That's alright. <laughs> Ooh, resolution picks up some bounty rune. Um, you can do some sort of shenanigans with this. Now, if you want to keep the rune as long as possible and don't need any sort of body charges, just there. If you hold it, then you actually have a level up. This means you get more experience in gold. So that's a, that's a cute thing to happen. But of course, this is a DP on level 11 and you can see this right here. 2200 experience is what you need to get the next level. And this is of course pretty much the longest one relative to the current standing. Sweet. Okay, so. Hmm. I, 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 I want to see some level up onto this Skyroth. Seriously. Because he's going to be amazing. He can just blow people up so nicely. Ray's got quite some HP. And he's of course got a mech. But everyone else, especially Solo. I mean, if he puts up his Mass of Madness, you Ancient Seal this guy and... Boom, he dies. He's gonna be praying quite hard for a backtrack of 10% chance. And also the, the Mystic Flare has like so many instances that it attack. actually normalizes out quite nicely. Middle tower is under attack. Oh, and there we go. It's another T1. It's another T1 for Navi. They they should get this. They really should. Always on fly. Uh oh. Good day, sir. We're gonna get Jack back into the party house of now. He's always on fire already down. Silent here as well. Can't have toys that they couldn't find anything else. And there's the Skyroth Major Ultimate blow in one up. And also the DP already dead as such. There's no access to no nothing. Nice girl. And no, actually not. That was stolen by Vansker. Oh, what a play. Stopping two people in their tracks. Oh, what a play by Vansker. Are you kidding me? Now they're gonna win the team, but because of it, most likely. Kobos, does he have an ultimate? Yes, he can. He can just die for days. Go use your minus in three seconds. Now he dies. Ultimate is ready and it's gonna get activated. And oh, funny. Are oh, they going to be setting for silent it looks like and Ufanik doesn't have any sort of mana regeneration. He can't just try to right down one and... Oh, now it's going to be silent. Trying to kill Fanik and he got it. Under attack. Bit of a dive, but at least you kill the void. Oh, where's my fight recap? There we go, Volvo, please. Okay, so the big question is because... This was a one team fight by Navi, and the good thing is they actually got 500 gold more of this. But the experience is actually going the other way around, and here you guys can see actually the change. The gold got changed, but not the experience. So the experience is still just like 6.92 was deployed. So it's sort of ridiculous. Now, if you think about what would have happened there with the gold, if this would have been still the older, like the, the, the 10 hours old sort of gold, this would have actually went the way of Empire. Hilarious. So, back at track, Navi. Well, they're leading 10 for 5. Let's check the gold graph because this is always very misleading actually in the current, uh, current. well, I don't want to say patch, but it's like, top I feel like a team attack. should be ahead and then you pull up a gold graph and it's like, well, I guess they're not that ahead. It's all right, maybe. Okay. And of course, well, experience. Mm, that's that's kind of straight, I guess. And of course, the question of the day, how big does this Wraith King get? Because he, this guy's gonna be huge. And uh, well, Fear was playing a Wraith King carry yesterday with a refresher orb, just to have an extra life, actually. Pretty good stuff. I love it. Mm. And three times the Wraith King is really just three times the charm. He had all these good items. He, he had, he was like six or something. And well, if you can use it, why not? And now this is gonna be a smoke up into the Roche pit. And Roche is dropping quite quickly, actually. And now we have no idea. This is their vision up until this point. 
Nope. That's it. The Empire takes themselves up a road. Mmm. ruin for Paces Void. Well, that's a... Uh, you know. Consolation Prize. Oh, and Double Abyssal. Alright, that makes a lot of sense. Dyer's middle tower has been denied. Double Abyssal is actually ridiculous. How the hell did he have enough mana? Dyer's top oh well, he actually has good okay sets again, I guess. 1.6. Well, eh. It's alright. It's alright. Anyways, now the push is coming. Resolution has Radiant no exorcism. I don't think Empire really attack. want to push this. Dyer's the thing is, they are not ahead, attack. so they can actually just do some goofy shit. If they want to, they can just push. Seriously, they, they could just do this. You kind of don't want to throw your lives away, but if you win a team, but afterwards, it's not that bad. It's like tactical feed, you know? It's like, this is the reason why Hobosta and Trixie might be the best carries ever Radiant's in this, in this tower patch. Is under attack. Just go, like, just go big. If you feed, it's fine. Don't worry, space created, right? I mean, game is hard. Space created. Easy life, easy rest. Bottom tower All that good stuff, you guys attack. know. Oh, Danny was in this, though. I'm just trying to find someone. Okay, sweet. Dyer's sweet! And let's attack. roll in some uh, crazy Dyer's chronos here. Come on, Solo, you know you fire. want to. You know you want to. Solo eyes. Solo one. Solo ready. Just as on the prowl. He's gonna be gunning for her boss. Maybe not. Oh, he's cancelling. It's made of anything he can, seriously. And, well, he can always want to fly. So, make as well. Five men of Empire against Dyer's five men of Mavi. Tell goes down. That was a nice D deny, but. Well, this is going to be all she wrote. Empire are content with just running away. Tower denied. That's a good trait in my book. And. Well, it's time to find some more objectives. And if I'm looking at this lineup, well, the tier 1 is already dropped in the bottom, in the top lane. And this tier 1 in the mid was actually the only one standing. And, well, now it's Navi just uh, giving back the favor, getting quite some powers done. And, well, actually Navi, you've got one one more out of tower. And, of course, this chip is pretty damn important for this sort of stuff. Every time you kill a tier 1, well, Liv is going to be refreshed. Uh, actually, never mind. The other way around. Every time you lose it, you want. Oh, I'm sorry, I misplaced that. Hmm. Are they seriously still gonna be doing this? I guess. Yeah, resolution goes for the ultimate. There is a glyph up, of course. And here comes the worst. Oh, the excess is actually getting, gonna get stolen. Oh, wow, Rubik, you man of mans. That's gone. Well, now we go. Rubik Exorcism is gonna be up and ready to go. And now it's Spirit versus Spirits. Good thing is the blue ones are from Resolution, the other ones not so much. Fans go, oh no, he can't die. Now this means his Exorcism is gonna be over. And oh, Solo actually bought a Mystic there coming up from FNG. Well done, Silent. Oh, the small, the plays from Always Wanna Fly, but not enough. Silent goes down, three down, four down. Oh, Navi just cleaning house big time. Four stars galore and more to be had. Resolution trying to run. He's got a Yules, gotta use it. Well, he used it just there and it's just not enough. It's a full team wipe. Navi roll Empire, five for zero. Not even close. What a steal from Vansko. And they gotta say, FNG, perfect. Mystic there. And as such, Solo really just couldn't do anything in his own chrono. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. That was amazing. Vansko is such a pin. Stealing exorcism. Well, that's pretty Dyer's good. Structures are fortified. And the thing is, he's even better. Than a DP because he actually had a telekinesis, so he's got a CC and a fate bolt. <laughs> it's so nice. I mean, this is amazing. This guy, and I just got a blink. Middle tower has fallen. Oh wow! Look at this. Now we are like, all right. Well, I guess we just uh, still play pretty well, and. The good thing is also, if you think about this, what happens now is, this is a new patch, this is pretty much Dota 2.5. Um, you, you still keep your mechanical skill, but all this game understanding, like all this, all this knowledge, so much of, uh, how do I put it, like, usually when you kill a hero, or like, if you get team wiped, you know somehow, some way, like, right, there's a Weaver, he had a sustainer, uh, Perseverance. And, well, maybe because he just got four kills, he's gonna be sporting a Lincoln very soon, right? It makes a lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense, actually. And now it's more like, well, we could be having anything, really. Because now the street code is actually less than beforehand, and... Well... 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 You never know. And also the new Bloodseeker is absolutely amazing. Sonnet is gonna be having the time of his life with this. 
You just go threats, you just go ults. Like Silent likes to run the old one and you just go kill. It is absolutely amazing. And of course new Phantom Lancer. Phantom Lancer is also ridiculously fun to play. Seriously, go go try this out on pops. Treads, Aquila drums, Diffusion Blade, and a Mentor style, and you just uh, the master of illusions. Advanced Girl is popping this once again, and there it is, it's over. Just wants to use it last time. You know, just farming up, why not? Just get some get some farm going your way with spirits. While Kavos deals one with the Midas. And also Kavos has a four star. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. And Mjolnir, of course, I mean. Whatever. So instead of gunning for any sorts of um, Radiant structures blink, are fortified. he went for the force. So what this gives you is a bit more mana. Actually, quite Radiant's a bit more mana. It's so much more mana that I would say he might actually be gonna, gonna be heading for this sort of refresher. Um, and beforehand, maybe a bit of blade stuff. <laughs> It is good stuff. Good stuff right here. Okay, so resolution. Uh, Kettle Vitality boost the Casual Plate Mail. Uh, is this going to be Shivas? Hmm, maybe just Casual Plate Mail into a hard. I think it gives you a bit more. And also, just look at freaking Robust. He's actually on 15k net worth. <laughs> what? Can you imagine the gold Empire is going to be getting when he dies? Radiance bottom tower is under attack. No, you, you. Okay, so Bloodseeker, what you do is you buff yourself up. You use your ults on the enemy. You use Blood Ride. As soon as he comes down, you buff the enemy up to take additional damage, and then this is gonna be triggering and you just kill him. You just freaking kill him. Meanwhile, bottom line. Uh, someone's in the end, funny. Well, that was not the smartest yours ever. Anyways, it's still Navi. You just got absolute bomb because FNG now here. Silent wants to just fight it. Silent really wants to go deep. He's up against four people. Silent against the world. Oh, funny. So close. So close, yet so far is Silent, and now he's dead. Always wanna fly. The dream comes up to the a nice face shift of course, and ah, oh, the swap just to break the call. Ah, oh, the place, the place. And also Vanskar, he stole himself the static thing. I got 84 damage stolen. So Vanskar is actually just telling his team to, all right guys, I, I got this. I totally got this. No one died, as such there's no big streak money going. DP was somewhere for playing, just starting up. And well, this is pretty much it. Now, I don't speak Russian, but he might be having some monetary issues, Mrs. Zaneko. You know, just maybe. Got some, got some things. Okay. Okay. Okay, so we got a discussion of Dandy and uh, retreating girls in, uh, in, in, in the chat. You guys go. Good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> you guys are amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm... We could be doing a very, very professional cast, but I think it's not time for this. After what happens in this land finals, it is completely ridiculous. Oh, I will not flame Vasuta. He's got the most fanboys next to Dread in the Russian community. No, no, no. No, no, no. Um, wait a second. What is my in-game overlay? My in-game overlay is this. Right, I... Just hold on for a second. I want to check some some things, and I'm I don't want to give any sorts of IPs away. I'm sorry. This is not because I'm hostile. This is just all right. No in game, looking looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. 
The house is in chat. Dido stats. Good stuff. Good stuff. Um, I got a stats for Dido's. In 3 to 2 percent of times, this is actually made by some sort of script kit. Oh snap. So, we got we got time to kill. Dear chat, we have no stream delay. As such, you can ask away if there's any sorts of questions. All right. Short term, sure. What is sure? Uh oh. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not. I mean, at least it's not Kyrillic. So one can one can make sense of this. So GPM. Okay, GPM. Here we go. This is Khobolta GPM. My IP is 8888. Go go DDoS. Is this even Dota? No, it's not. <laughs> this is actually that's ridiculous. Hopefully this is no DDoS. Hopefully this is just, you know, the good old got some issues with my monitor stuff. <clears throat> Just divide his network through the minute, that's all. Um, we actually can, can make sure this is actually happening. 16441. And this is, hold on, we got 26. Uh, well, 26 is like. Yeah, it's, it's alright. It's actually pretty. No, it's not quite. Not quite. Wow, Nahas is leaking my IP. Wow, Nahas. And I thought we were friends. <laughs> um. <laughs> Good stuff. I have no idea what's going on. We got some we got some Russian chat. It's good. It's good. One day, one day I'll learn it. After I learn French. Which is ridiculously hard. But it sounds so nice. Oh yeah, Khobos should totally buy rape here. That'd be amazing actually, think about this for a second. Do you like tacos? Actually. We people in Germany don't do that much tacos. Yes, French sounds amazing. French sounds absolutely amazing. And I have no idea who George Ezra is. Alright, Google. Help me out. Am I getting flamed here? That's alright. Oh boy. Dude, Draco, you have no idea. French is amazing. French is amazing. Not everyone can, can speak German, guys. Yeah, Swedish is also cool. I would totally learn Swedish, but... You know. Swedish is, a, Swedish is too cool. Too cool for school. Sweden is amazing in general. I mean, think about this for a second. You have great internet. Everyone looks so damn good, and you have a cool language. It's it's amazing. Yes, this is a very interesting match. I gotta agree. Dedrick, what is Dedrick? Elder Scrolls, yeah. You guys, crazy. Only Dota, no no Elder Scrolls. Actually, Elder Scrolls Online was quite fun. And then I got bored. That's it. Yes. Pusroda. Yeah, Pusroda is pretty good. Oh, I didn't... Yeah, I didn't Skyrim, actually. I didn't play Skyrim. It's crazy, isn't it? <clears throat> yes, Bruno and James live in Sweden, so they can, you know, stay together, have a good time. With good internet, no. This is completely legit stuff, by the way. Oh, 
Well. Now I get reported because I don't play Skyrim. Could have bought it from Steam a week ago. That was good stuff. What? <laughs> just, just, I don't know. I would give Raz for a complete, complete understanding of what's going on of a live, uh, of a live uh, translation. I like tacos, yeah, but you know, we Germans don't don't eat too much tacos. Alright. Is this an animated smile? Ah, I don't want to hear it. Oh, it's animated oh my goodness, look at this. Amazing. Crazy. Okay, nothing Dota related. Great. Amazing. <laughs> oh boy. Yes, there is a way to hide pictures. When you're locked in on the bottom right hand side of your of your chat, there's a small wheel, a cog wheel. You can click on it and just uh, use the slider from disable images and then there's any any images are then disabled afterwards I think. It's not it's not beforehand. You can just reload it and then this this should be kinda it. Right, chat, entertain me. Someone is a noob with being humans. That's amazing. So Okay, let's let's do a poll. We need to have a cool poll going. Um, currently, I mean, Navi's up, 13k gold. Um, can forced on carry. Dot tricor. Okay, great. Now let's see what you guys think. <clears throat> An infinite combo in my Oloro deck, whatever that is. Yes, you so totally do this. Potatoes are amazing. Potatoes are actually so legit. Potatoes are rock. Call 1-800-0 gravity. Well, that sounds, that sounds something I would do. All right, we got some, got some dandy fans here. Sweet. stuff good stuff we got more typing we got more pauses we got so many pauses it is absolutely crazy we could we could do a we could actually write a book together chat you know you and me me and you six three three bzz gpm oh good stuff Wow, we got we got the hard hard questions. I'm not sure if this is a chat only discussion, but I totally wanna wanna <laughs> give my input on this one. If you guys if you guys aren't in chat, I would highly encourage you to do uh, to do so. hitboxtv slash pipmocker. That is actually amazing. Yeah, just all right. Be right back. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be fetching some more milk. Chocolate is amazing. Hot chocolate added, added even more. Hmm. All right. How do I mute my mic now? All right. Got it. Sweet. Just guys, stay tuned. Right. Just just a second. I'm I'm rushing. I'm so quick. Don't worry.
All right, perfect. Ooh. Damn, man. Dude, look amazing. Hold on for a second. Where's my, where's my cam? This is amazing. This is just the best stuff ever. It's so nice. You can actually drink it. I like this other crap, which some people call milk. Where's in game? There it is. Jesus Christ. <laughs> that milk, TM. <laughs> it's amazing. I should. They should sponsor me. They should seriously sponsor me. I drink so much of that stuff. It's getting. It's getting a bit expensive. That milk is absolutely amazing. Right. So apparently, so we go. Hmm. Dead scarf. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys, but I'm getting I'm getting ill. Not from actually from the waiting. I think seriously. The scarf is amazing. Hold on for a second. Scarf of feet. You guys have no idea. Right. Enjoy. This is where the scarf is from. Milk is night with cereal. You guys are such amateurs. No, 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 no. Best scarf here. Oh, that's sweet. Is there a secret version of Navi match today? I have no idea. Considering we have nine more games today. We have Navi against Empire, best of three. Then we have the loser of this against VP Polar. And then the winner of this whole series up against the winner of this one here. We actually have nine more games. And it is 20 CET. Close to B. Which means this is so freaking much. Like, this is ridiculous. <laughs> the monitor is nervous. Amazing. Yeah, I don't know. The scarf is amazing there. Dude, you... You know, scarves are... Scarves aren't cheap, man. Mine wasn't that expensive, though. Mine was actually pretty legit. So, we, we got some nice discussion. I gotta say, I mean, the pause has been amazing. Okay, guys. Um, who wants to hear a story about... I don't know. Do you guys, do you guys want to hear stories, even? Do you? Story time? Yes, no? Okay, let's let's do a poll. Story time? Oh. Okay, let's see. Okay. Story time. Apparently apparently story time is gonna be in. Give story of name origin. What? Of oh the story of my name, yeah. Okay. You know what? We're gonna be doing this proper, right? Okay, so let me let me see how this works out. Um, okay, how do I, how do I do this? Okay, wait a second. Um, at window capture. Yeah, sub region. Okay. Okay. Okay, so this, this is a Pumukle. This, this Pumukle is a German, um, it's a German cartoon figure, like a, like comic and stuff. And this is a small imp, and he's having pretty much the time of his life. Like he's just standing around, just, just drawing people. He's, he's actually like this small, maybe, maybe, maybe like this, something like this. And then he sees just running around, having a good time. Right. And uh, he's, he's just, he was literally the biggest troll ever. And, well, then I was watching some MTV, you know, pimp my ride, and I was like, man, you know, this this guy. If you pimp this fella, amazing. And this this was the name. Crazy, isn't it? All right, great, great story. That was the story of the name. Good stuff, good stuff. Once upon a time, Dota didn't have pauses. Yeah, it was a crazy time. Only legends now tell the tale. Everyone who actually had a full game of Dota and hadn't had any sorts of pauses doesn't live anymore.
<laughs> hey, come, come on, man. If you're German, you're gonna like this name. It's it's just it's just amazing. Yeah, it's like the the pimp muckle. It's like it's like a pimp muckle. You know. Read out your story. No, we got a game. Holy shit! Right, game's live. Game's live. Let's go. Where were we? Um. Well, Dyer's I don't know, but let's turn off Netgraph. Radiance bottom tower has been. Denied. I don't know why this is on. All right, screw Netgraph. D d no one needs it. Good stuff. So, game game is good. Reconnection, disconnection, reconnection, dis disconnection, resume. Amazing. Amazing. So, sto story time over. Wow. Ten people voted now. You guys. Amazing. The game is so real. The game is absolutely crazy real. So, now the big question of the day is... Empire. How to come back in three easy steps. Step one, win a team fight. Step two, have gold kick in. And step three, profit. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Yeah. Definitely. I agree with you, Mr. Corrupter. Corrupter. Anyways, we can be soon up onto the Razor. What are the items, by the way? Mm, DP still. We have, we have no idea what this DP is going for. Could still be either... Scuddies or just the hard. I wouldn't mind hard. I wouldn't mind Scuddies. I think Scuddies would be better here. I was favoring hard five minutes ago, but after having a pause of minutes or hours, reconsideration means nope. And Navi picked themselves up a basis void. This is great because he's going to be a pretty big force to be reckoned with. Lost 350 gold. That's sweet. Good stuff. Four stuff, four stuff. Bottom yeah, you know, Papa Bulls just, just, just casually farming up 18k. He's really having a good time right now. Hmm. And also the supports are so damn starved. Now imagine one kill going to the VS. <laughs> Suddenly like a blink. Suddenly a four star. Suddenly anything, seriously. How much do you get if you kill him? I want to have a tool. I mean, BTS is most likely going to be having this if this keeps going. Like, they're going to have a tool. Actually, I'm going to... I, I should... I should freaking write one. Can't be that hard. This is, the formula is openly available. Anyways. Yeah, definitely write one. Here comes Silent and... Well, Lesso back. Mystic Flare. Pew, 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 pew. But there's a nice swap and... Here comes the turnaround. Van score. Already kind of low. He's going to have a... Well, he's got a swap and... That was a nice idea. Didn't work out. BKB was pop. They get a kill for a BKB usage, but at the good part is, of course, you didn't die. And oh, funny. Oh, yeah, they, they knew. Like, you just pop a dust. Everyone was still alive. And instant dispel means, ooh, what is happening? And suddenly, items. More gold. More gold going the way of the faces void. And of course, a full finished AC. Pretty classic. Pretty classic of worst. 30 minutes in. And it's another Roshan. Ay, ay, ay. They're really just trying to do this. It's very risky, very risky. And the exorcism is up. You kind of don't want to fight into this. And no, Rubik means this is going to be a hard fight to take. And also, Hovos, oh, if you lose this fight somehow, some way, this is going to be such a hard call to make, Hovos. Well, that's a good corner. But Simon walks in. Now the Roshan is going to get dropped solo. But they want to disengage this so bad. Now the Aegis is already popped. The forward FNG. FNG is going to get crushed. So much gold. 500 something gold going the way of the solo. But here's still Hovos. He's so heavy. Oh, man. And yeah, here comes the turnaround. Side and just being held in position. Now the stuns, now the damage. Oh, yeah, yeah. and it's close. Oh, not quite enough. Four stuff. No, jumps. Gotta run. Gotta run. Oh, and that's gonna be... No, not it. He's gonna have a four stuff in 10 seconds. I'm not sure if it's gonna be enough. There we go, finally. Mjolnir doing the work. Smartly done by Chavos then. Well, resolution is now on the run as well. That was a great idea from Empire. It was a great one. Find a pick off and attack. boom. Instantly, just, 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 just go. Get an objective. Problem is, if Navi still wants to fight you, this is a very bolted decision. I gotta keep this stuff in Dyer's mind. Uh, no! Under no! <laughs> Teamfight recap, please. 
because I'm sure just to kill onto FNG was pretty large. I wonder how many people got, got some sort of gold off of this, but the boss is just way too big. He's sitting so high up in the net worth. He's on 8k more than the Razor. DP is also right there, and of course Funic is, is just as big. And also Denny is rivalizing up onto the, the Void. <sighs> Radiance top tower is under attack. Well, so we are pretty much five slotted now onto the boss. Thirty minutes in. Ah, uh, what is the next item going to be? Hand of Midas is going to be awesome. After he farms up another crazy amount of gold, mm, and he's got the gold for a buyback, even if he buys his unreliable gold. Or even if he loses it, it doesn't matter too much. Mm, it can be sweet. Funic with a gem. Oh, quite good. Quite good. Quite good. So. Yeah, better, but I still want to see a refresh hope. Just, just because. Just because. Uh, he didn't even crit that hard. Hmm. Yeah, Abyssal Blade would be amazing. 100 more damage. So he finally crits for something. 300% critical damage. That's nice. Well, how about I make that 300 extra damage? When you spawn an Abyssal Blade. I like it. Because then he's going to be critting for like close to 900. And this is where things get... Well... You know. Well, things get a bit iffy. Anyways. I am, I'm not sure if I'm a fan of hard, actually. There, there's quite a few late game options. Um, where there's attack speed he's got, he's got two attack speed items. He's got a Mjolnir, he's got the AC, he's got even the power threads to giving him a bit of extra attack speed. And, well, I wouldn't mind seeing a Basher, to be, to be quite honest here. Abyssal is amazing, it's just so much damage, it gives you such a nice active. And even if you want to do some crazy stuff... Dyer's top tower has fallen. Like, if you want to do some, some sort of crazy stuff with... Um, with a refresh shop, you can Radiant's still do this. Just sell your four stuff and, and get the refresh. And yeah, indeed, there it is. Well, Dyer's I like it. I'm not sure about you guys, but I certainly do. And well, you can resolution. Mules up in the air. And uh, you gotta control him some else away. And yeah, he just goes for the Blademan activity. And just keeps pounding at the tower. Robos, no fear in the world. He has no Aegis, though. He's got the one. He's got an Ank. He's got no Aegis. His ultimate is gonna be plenty earned back. Some more damage going his way. And well, now we came. What they... Well, they got what they came for, this way around. Here we go. Uh, 800 damage on the tower. That's okay. Could be worse. Mm, that was a 2100 gold cell. What was that? Oh, that was, I guess, a hype. No. Uh, what do you buy from... I don't know. Anyway, it should have been an ultimate orb. But you don't buy it at the side shop. Ah, he, he sold it in base so he can pick up the Mystic stuff. Alright, never mind. Makes a lot of sense. There we go. And someone got a defend bottom lane, was pushing in. And then he makes his way back. Just farming, farming, farming. Gonna be getting his scythe up. What is Lukuvel doing? Double Mystic stuff, because we can. And a Void Stone. Now he's loaded as hell. D doesn't want to die. Also, Speed Burst is. Like, I also make the same mistake, like, like this. This sort of um, thing here, uh, because everyone is like so accustomed to just press whatever your key on the uh, retrieve items is, or like what is the transfer items, and then on the speed burst. For me, it's uh, E and Q. Oh, actually, never mind. We gotta fight. We gotta fight. Oh, the gets back. Someone is gonna be coming back. Oh, funny gets blown up. The spirit is doing so much damage, but here comes the boss. Already, just so much damage. A lot of nice dwarfs actually. All these little flies keeping him alive. Now another stun. The boss has got like needs to protect his bounty. He's dropping low. He's still not gonna have his ultimate. And as such, well, it's another Vance got here on the exorcism. What the hell did he have for breakfast? Crazy. Once again, and now he comes resolution. He's gonna get slowed up. He's gonna have a Yule spot. Oh, if he uses it right now. Well, he's dispelled, but he's now left in the open for the bounty, and this is exactly what happens. Then he uses ultimate, gets it up. Vance of course, is going to be healing himself up. And the fight recap is going to be here right here. Gold change. Well, what? Actually, Empire got more gold out of this one. Ah, uh, there was a buyback. The buyback actually gets factored in. This is amazing. This is crazy. I love it. 
Oh, but here comes around number two. It's a fight club, seriously. It was not just like the first day. And was while well, he really wanted Dyer's to fight, now it's time for the all-out brawl. There's a glyph. Oh, gotta, gotta, gotta just attack. chill out. Scarif Mage, some more, some more, he finds himself a sign. And here we go with the funning. Already in Thunder, getting signed itself, but he's gonna have his Yules. Of course, this is no Axe Scepter. Yules, Yules galore, Yules, pretty good item. Now we go with the swap. Farnik, oh, he might be dying, and he did indeed die. Yeah, you know, kind of bit of... Quite a bit of gold going the way of everyone in the Empire. No, oh, 700 gold for the Razor. Yeah, I think how it is right now, this makes a lot more sense, gotta say. I mean, if you have a Funic bat who was on around 10, what was it, like 10 and something K, and you give away around a thousand gold for the enemy through the assist gold, and of course this uh, the shifting one and this free. What was this free, by the way? Nothing, okay. I think it's all right. As, I mean, we're getting to a point where Valve has this sort of uh, tweaking now. Not sure if this is still going to be a good idea in general. Maybe we're going to be seeing this uh, just get changed in 6A2B. Maybe not. Let's let's find out. I mean, the idea is... Obviously, the whole community was so damn fed up, and apparently Ice Rock as well, that he was just nerfing every bit of a push strat, every bit of an early game strat there is. He was giving a free glyph every time your tier 1 dies. He was giving a lot of just... Yeah, I don't want to say, I don't want to say nerfs, because Razor, for example, didn't get nerfed too much, but still, there's been a lot of adjustments to make this push meta just not as prevalent as it was once. Now, I think he might be just uh, having his goal auto shot just a bit. It's it's still fine, Roshan, by the way, in 10 seconds. And also, another change, of course, the Roshan timer. The ages is obvious, I mean, everyone can see, oh, wow, like, new area of the Rosh pit, and it's now very much even, actually, and... It's also great that you have two runes now. I love it. But still, at the same time, I'm like, well, five minute ages means you might as well really want to wait for Roche, because it's like, well, Roche can be spawning in like five minutes, maybe we just want to wait because our street goal is too high and all that stuff. Well, that's a yours. Swap? No, I'll just want to fly, couldn't find it. No silence just yet, though. And the boss just just doing his thing. He is so dead on the MK for the next one. And well, there we go. Towers are dead. Exorcism left and right. Everyone's just having an exorcism. You get some spirits, you get some spirits. Resolution certainly got some spirits. And here we go solo. Now BKB was of course already popped and this was still a BKB of a nine second duration and completely nothing got out of this one and Well The issue is here as well, like if I'm thinking about this. If I'm thinking about this, the idea behind the BKB, of course, of the chain is that it's now tied to a hero, so you can't just rebuy BKBs. And if the Void buys a quick BKB after the Maelstrom and the Master Mance, which is completely standard, you kind of need to do so. Then it's going to be a 5 second BKB for the rest of the game. Boom. Ouch. Game is hard. Not nice boss up, by the way. And the boss is getting to a point where he can really just buy for a threat or very soon and oh, he's low, 1.2k HP, but he knows no fear. He wants to go and he gets his abyss play done, but the immediate stun right inside, there's Phonic as well, has to dodge the Chrono, FNG in the Chrono, the solo, oh, he's getting lifted up by Vanscore, and still, FNG dies, and this could be a great team fight for Empire to take, but here comes back the boss, the final boss. He doesn't have another life, but he needs to make stuff happen with this one. It's another steal, oh, Vanscore, you man, it's crazy. Crazy. This guy just delivers big time every time he's right there on the track. And well, now he's glimpsed back. Now everyone's got enough of this one. And he's falls. It's a 2 for 3. I think there were some, some pretty massive buybacks, but they are not done yet. Uh, well, there's a show fight recap. Hopefully, this is not going to be respawning too quickly. And uh, well, maybe everyone's just going to be fine. Some more bashes. Funny dying. Maybe not. Oh, he's fine. Oh no, the fight recap. No, it's gone. Oh no. Bobo, please. Give me a button. Give me a console command, I don't care. Just give me something so I can get the last one up. Jesus Christ. Because I'm sure. Yeah, that was not a fight now we should have taken. They actually lost the fight.
like in in absolute senses. The Goldcroft is going to be going down just a tad more even in. Well, Melee Rack still stands, that's great. <laughs> Empire once again, pretty much the third row in a row. They are trying hard, like they really do. Oh, and the heart is down. So DP now is popping a heart. Oh, oh, FNG, oh, FNG, oh no. Oh, he gets solo, what? FNG, crazy. Well, but he comes to Wolves. This could be a great team fight now, we could have taken him. I don't know about this, I don't know. Kobos, well, there's a Missile Blade, and his damage is getting sucked up quite a bit, and, well, there goes the lead. Kobos, he has no BKB, he has no nothing, he's got a Reaver, but nothing else, actually, and a touch. Well, Kobos is critting away at resolution, but nothing, nothing else. Oh, now he finds the crit, slams down onto Solo, and the first life is expanded, more to be coming. And Soneko already dead on the, on the top hand side, and here we go with the final boss for Wolves. He cannot die, but he doesn't, he absolutely does, he finds the crits, he finds the bashes. Oh, what a play. And, well, praying to the RNG, this was working off quite nicely for him, and Dandy is now on the prowl. He wants to have some more blood up in the air is still the small puck, and, well... No. Blink. Oh, there we go. There it is. He's gonna have another side, by the way, and, well, resolution popping the cheese. Oh, this is a risky cheese, by the way. But this is all she wrote. Bye bye, Death Prophet. It was nice having you. And Navi, 32 for 13. Goldcraft now making this way upwards once again, and it is what it is. It is a very clear advantage for Navi. 42 minutes in, looks like they want to put it in the coffin. I like how it says that Hobos actually died because he used reincarnation. Well, looks like a looks like a pretty clean game from Navi. Gotta say, Hobos 12, 0 and 10. Has fallen. You know, just uh, just Kovos doing Kovos things. He gets so much. Dyer's Jeez. Mm, yeah, it looks like these are gonna be megas here. Someone, someone gotta defend this end. Oh, well, they wanna try once again. They're gonna have anything here. But oh, Solo, you gotta be careful with this sort of stuff. Now we go with the Chrono and. Well, finding on the right hand side, trying to pull back Soneka, so there's no static, so there's no nothing for Bors. He's standing his ground, now once again the turn on, oh, the Bobber Chrono got stolen by the man himself, who's just stealing everything in this game. Absolutely disgusting, absolutely retardedly good play by Vance, that commend this guy, and, well, this is gonna be it. Second game in the best of five, best of three, hold on, best of three, in the winner's bracket finals. Should be coming away in just a second. Woo, my game, finally we got some cool stuff happening.